यू नो एस्थेटिक तो अपने आप हो जाता है इफ यू आर वर्किंग आउट तो दैट्स अ बाय प्रोडक्ट आई मीन यू ऑब्वियसली इफ यू सी माय पिक्चर ऑफ 10 इयर्स बैक विद ऑल दोस यू नो चबी चिक्स एंड ऑल दिस एंड देन यू व्हेन यू स्टार्ट टू सी द जॉ यू नो कमिंग आउट एंड व्हेन यू लुक एट द पिक्चर इट लुक्स गुड यू नो आई मीन सो एवरीबॉडी दैट 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 इज एन बाय प्रोडक्ट दैट्स गोना हैपन तो होना ही होना है वो तो हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम शशांक मेहता founder at the whole truth foods.com and you're listening to the whole truth project hey folks today we have with us uh, sandeep mall sandeep is an entrepreneur uh, award winning wildlife photographer and what interests us the most he's an extremely fit marathon running heavy weight lifting 55 year old uh, what's even more inspiring is that he wasn't this way until well into his 40s uh what put him on to the path of fitness and what he's learned from there on is what we'll talk about today so welcome sandeep and thank you so much for making the time to do this thanks sashank it's a, it's a pleasure to be here it's nice to talk to you thank you so much sandeep i'm a big follower of yours on twitter and and i'd like to tell everyone that guys this is the outcome of a cold email that i wrote to sandeep saying that i'd love to have you on the podcast and within an hour he replied saying yes so 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 cold emails work <laughs> hey, always and i always believe in it's always good to have uh, the ask for anything if you want you know and i nobody has ever said no to me i mean whenever i have approached somebody and you know asked for something so yeah. generally people are good and you know they they always try to help each other so absolutely i am i am in absolutely the same boat never have any any senior person anyone been uh, negative or said no to me either uh but i want to want to start the conversation with what i alluded to in your intro that uh, until into your 40s you were not on this path of fitness and then something happened i want to start with that point why don't you tell us what got you on to the path of uh, fitness uh sometime in uh, 2010 actually so uh, my company was getting an insurance done for me the key man insurance and they put me on a so i had to it was a high value thing and they have i had to go through a health checkup uh, you know as required by the insurance company and my in, i mean the health records were awful i mean, I mean, I mean the triglycerides was 400 plus the cholesterol was around 300 uric acid was around 8 plus bp was high i mean everything was bad about it and uh, unfortunately the company didn't the insurance company didn't do the insurance because of my uh, bad health records so when i went to the doctor and uh, with those reports the doctor told that you know you need to start with all those five six lifestyle medicines you know you take for lifestyle diseases and i was not ready for it you know i mean at 47 46 47 to start with all those medicines and you know and suddenly it was because i never had time before that to think about myself so i was always working 24/7 you know and uh, then i uh, said uh, what's the alternative if i don't take medicines so he said you need a drastic change of your lifestyle and you can try it out maybe but you have to take medicines and after some time if it things improve you can reduce the medicines so i didn't still start uh, with those medicines you know and uh, what helped me a lot was that you know our, my neighbor next door neighbor uh, he is uh, he used to represent india in commonwealth and asian games boxing and all this and uh, he was my son's friend so i told him you know why don't uh, rajiv why don't you train me you know you look your uncle has become so unfit and all those health reports are bad and so he said okay kal se aapko uthata hu so and he is a pakka haryanvi jaat and you know he was there up 6 o'clock in my door and uh, for two months he took me every day to the gym or to the park or you know i mean every morning he will be there even if i was out i i was unable to walk 100 meters i had all sort of problems and but he would not leave me but in these two months i got into a habit of doing fitness i started seeing results i reduced some weight and i started to you know feel energetic and look good and that is when i started you know, that this is something i should keep on doing it you know and then it became as it became a ha- habit you know so i kept on doing it and before i you know why i reached this stage of bad health is also you know one, one is that you know i was too much into my work so entrepreneurship or you know business was my passion so i used to 
I was in my office, the first one to reach my office and last one to get out of my office. I was working like 80 to 90 hours a week. So no Sundays or, you know, and uh, the whole thing, the only thing that interested me was work, work, work. And so, so to somehow grow my company and make as much money as I could. And then one fine day uh, while driving from New York to New Jersey, I had a bad car crash. So I was in a car pileup and um, that uh, car pileup, I, when I was there, you know, I mean, I had broken my disc and C4, C5, and I had to go through a disc replacement surgery. So I have a titanium disc. And uh, uh, when uh, all this happened, so I was in rehab and I was not able to, I used to play tennis before that, you know, but the, after that, the tennis also stopped because I was not allowed to play. So, so in those six, eight months, I just ruined everything that, you know, and then I later on, I realized that as I was growing older, I was losing muscle, muscles very fast and, you know, just sedentary life. So everything, you know, went into a, so I, I, that was one of the worst phase of my life. And, you know, a lot of things uh, personally in business, everything, there was a lot of losses. You can say, you know, my, I lost my grandfather. My dad had cancer at that point of time. I, I uh, got into a car crash and then business was down. Uh, everything, you know, the 2008 recession was uh, the US recession that, you know, that was sick. So all those things, uh, uh, started happening and then once this two months of fitness with Rajiv happened and then I got into a habit. So then after that, I, it's been almost like now nine years or 10 years. So I have not, I'm, I rarely miss a workout, you know, I mean, at least out of 350 days, 60 days, uh, you'll see me working out 250 to 300 days, whatever routine, wow. even if it's a walk or run or whatever is my plan going on. Right. So. So now I'm completely out of all those uh, lifestyles. I, I don't take any medicine. I've never taken actually any medicine. My triglyceride last I tested was 80 something. And uh, my HDL was in 60s. My LDL was very low. So everything, you know, I mean, the health reports, thankfully, uric acid is three point something. And I never had any hypertension or BP or... Uh, so the whole lifestyle changed. And... <clears throat> sorry, without sacrificing much, you know, like except that giving one hour, one and a half hour every day. And um, once you start getting into a fitness routine, you, I mean, generally don't eat unhealthy, you know, I mean, that becomes a habit also that, you know, yeah, you consciously, yeah. you are always eating good food and, you know, so yeah, that's it. That's the story that brought me towards a healthy lifestyle. And what was the uh, gap between the car crash and the Keyman insurance wala incident? I, I think it will be around say eight months or one year. Mm. So, so even so, after the car crash, I assume, uh, and given that it was such a serious injury, uh, physically also life would have been very tough in those eight nine months as it is, like between. Yeah, so I, I was. I had to be in rehab, and you know, I was uh, uh, completely home. For four, four, five, three, four months, I think. So uh, I had the collar and all those stuff, and uh, you know, and then slowly my wife started taking me for walks. You know, so we'll go to the yeah. park together, but I would hardly walk for five hundred meters, and then I'll sit by the bench because I was unable to do it. And yeah. continuous pain on my left side of my body. So my the nerves on my left side had all you know. I mean, I don't know what it medically it is called, but. Uh, they were degenerating basically. Yeah, they were de they had degenerated and there was because blood circulation was when my, uh, my compression of because of C, uh, C4, C5 was almost for three, four months. So uh, my so accident happened sometime in May. I got operated sometime in October. So uh, initially I had no pain, no problem. You know, the phys outside there was nothing after the car crash. So yeah. I started realizing this from July that something is not right, you know, after a couple of months. So in those three, four or five months, you know, a lot of decompression had ha happened and the blood circulation yeah. was broke. So that caused a lot of nerves, you know, to be injured permanently. I mean, they will never recoup. So that yeah. left side would, would always pain and all these uh, things uh, were there. But then gradually, once I started picking into getting into this habit of fitness, so I, I, I'm, I'll say that I'm at the best shape of my life uh, right now. You look you look it like I, I wouldn't guess that you're 55 uh, had I not known. Uh, but but the question I want to ask you is uh, you were in so much physical pain. There, like there's a titanium disc. There is disc decompression happening. There are nerves degenerating. But 
when you started off when rajiv started coming to your door every morning and getting you out of the house would you say that what was the biggest hurdle to get onto the path of fitness what was it mental or was it physical uh, more it was mental uh, physical also it was challenging because of my injury and all this and uh, also uh, but it, it's it's more you know i mean to win over that first you know getting out the first 10 minutes 15 minutes you know that's becomes the most challenging part of uh, the routine so uh, you because the results take its own time you know the results of your fitness routine takes its own time and we don't have or i never had or most of the people don't have the patience to you know wait for that long uh, for the result to show now it's so simple to reduce your bp by you know just taking one medicine every morning and your blood pressure is normal it's very difficult to you know walk 5 uh, kilometers every day for 6 months to for the bp to you know so people don't have time and never uh, have the patience basically not i not say time patience uh, to wait for the result so mentally to win over it takes uh, some time but you know once you start seeing results once you start seeing the you know in the mirror yourself or or feeling energetic or you know or or somebody in the family saying yaar tu to fit dikhne lag gaya bahut change aa gaya so that starts to play on you know and and uh, then it becomes a habit once you get into this habit then then it's not stopping you there's nothing that's stopping you basically but take us a bit deeper into you know the mental chatter of those first 5 6 months as you said those are the critical times once you get hooked on to it even this is like a drug like exercise is also like a drug that you the end of in release gets you hooked on but but those first 5 6 months when like for you to there were multiple bahanas and excuses you could have given yourself right age accident pressure all of that stuff how what was the mental chatter in your mind at that time and how did you overcome that uh, i'll say there were a lot of things first the support of the family uh, my wife was always into fitness i mean she was into yoga and all those things since long and i mean uh, and she wanted you know she she was she was shocked you know ki her husband is you know i mean living a life which is uh, maybe going to be a painful for her also you know as we grow old together and she used to push me a lot you know she used to encourage me ki ha aap karo my parents my grand i mean grandma everybody were uh, into some sort of activity some fitness activity <clears throat> whether it's walk or yoga or something not not into strength training or all those things but they they everybody was doing something second thing i when i was idle you know when i know i was not going to the office and doing anything so i read a lot and i i learn and i heard a lot of all videos and you know ted talk type things and uh, all those things of people and uh, so then i realized that you know if i have to influence my kids i have to behave the way i want them to live a life so i don't want them to i used to smoke you know i mean i smoked for almost 25 30 years so so uh, Uh, if i have to you know teach them i can't give them free ka gyan if they see their dad doing something and you know they are going to do it so uh, so all those things started playing into my mind you know if i have to first it's for myself if i have to i can i don't want to live a you know sedentary life and my grandfather was unfortunately very obese so he was like 100 plus kg you know and and i have seen him go through a lot of pain because of that last year two years of his life you know he did. i mean if somebody if he wanted to go to the toilet we needed two people to you know use it, support him and give him support and take take so that i mean those were bad times for uh, so him and i didn't want to you know end up my life uh, living like uh, him the last two years so all those things started playing on my mind you know that if i have to uh, if i have to come out of this and for my family for my kids for you know myself so i need to give my best and give uh, make it a routine that you know this has to be my priority number one that you know uh, now nowadays i mean it's last 7 uh, 8 years i reschedule everything if it comes in on way of my fitness routine you know if i have to take a flight i'll plan it such a way that you know either at the destination or here i have you know able to dedicate that one hour i need to do it or if i have a client meeting or a call or something so all those things i just you know uh, make it a routine that it uh, the routine works giving priority to my fitness 
and to my health because ultimately at the end of the day what matters most is how well i am going to perform when i am 70 80 or 90 or if i am good enough to survive those uh, many years i don't want to live a life where i am you know so i need somebody to take my grocery bag from car to home or you know if i am traveling you know i need somebody to put my cabin baggage on inside the plane i i should be able to do it myself when i am 90 also so that with that idea you know i started to give it a i mean i don't have an uh, aim of you know having a six pack or you know having those huge muscles or going into a bodybuilding show or uh, all those things so that that is not the priority the priority is you know to till the time i am uh, i am alive my, i should have a great health span and if i have a great, great health span i am not giving any trouble to my family members you know they don't have to uh, you know take care of me always uh, so I, uh, i should be in a position to take care of uh, my parents or whatever as i grow up Got it. that that whole mental press you know thing was there to support me when i started doing uh, activities so you always need a mentor you always need a coach you always i mean even today after learning so many things about fitness and uh, mentoring so many people i still have three four coaches you know so i still consult them when i will share my videos and i'll ask them you know is it right or what should i do i want to get into the fitness regime now tell us in detail what sandeep's fitness routine looks like what part of it is endurance what is resistance training and how do you plan it well uh, from all the studies that i have done uh, on this i have read lots of books lots of scientific journals i mean uh, my whole library is full of uh, some tremendously wonderfully explained books on health fitness and all those stuff and i have realized that you know uh, strength training is a must everybody needs to do strength training whatever age they are it's not just yoga or walk or something which is going to help you the maximum for maximum benefit you need to do strength training and strength training does not mean that you have to go and hit the gym you know your strength training you can do at home you can do with your body weight you can do with any any sort of resistance that you can provide uh, to your body so that you know uh, there's certain things in life that you going to do every day you going to sit on a chair and get up you are going to sit on a commode and get up so you should have enough strength you you're going to climb stairs you will you want you would like to play with your grandkids so all those things you know uh, you should have enough strength to handle the day to day activities of your life strength training is a must and more so you start losing muscles uh, as you grow after 30 you are use, using almost 10% muscles every decade so so the more muscles you lose the the more problems you have the more lifestyle diseases you have and uh, so strength training is a must and to match it along with that you need to do some sort of cardio so if i say my typical routine these days is i do four uh, strength training sessions a week so and i divide it into two upper body and two lower body instead of doing you know specific some day like most people in the gym do chest and uh, triceps some day and biceps back and all those stuff they have different body muscles uh, different muscle groups they do it different days i prefer to do it in uh, you know two upper bodies and two lower bodies so one is uh, the one day when i am doing very heavy uh, upper body one day when i am not doing very heavy you know but it's more volume maybe you know more sets uh, sort of thing so i divide this and two days i do cardio so mostly uh, one of those is a high intensity interval training which is uh, good for uh, your heart you know some sort of uh, one weekly anaerobic training is to, should be done and one is a steady state cardio where uh, i try to you know uh, maximize my aerobic fitness so at at uh, my zone 2 level of uh, uh, heart rate or you know when electric uh, starts to build up so what is the maximum wattage i can take out of uh, this thing so over a year or so i have been able to improve my wattage to almost double by doing you know keeping my heart rate at around 120 or 125 which is my zone to with these six i mean days the way i have planned it and one is a rest day which is more of an active rest day i usually go for a walk and you know that active rest day for casual is uh, is long distance running on top of this no so uh, it changes you know i mean this is the plan right now i am doing so okay. once i start uh, my long distance running i i have not run much uh, since lockdown happened last year so so uh, 
I, I just run for that uh, my fun part of it. So I run for my high intensity training interval training. I do it with running uh, these days. But when I'm when I practice for marathons and all this, it's usually it uh, goes into four or five days of running. So then I reduce my cycling and you know those things. So then the training is different. I'm not training uh, strength training. I'm not doing like uh, that with that intensity. I concentrate more on my running. So four days or five days a week, I'll go outdoors and run. So that's going to start from July. So my plan is that in July onwards, I'll get back to running. So yeah. you, you basically do that for the marathon season. So you're yeah, aiming so for... Yeah, training the... yourself for, you know, usually the eight till half marathon starts in October. So last yeah. year, because nothing was going to happen. So I concentrated more on strength training. So if somebody has a... Because running is, I believe, is not for everybody. I mean, it's not something which is uh, going to give you tremendous physical benefits, you know, that running, which is extra benefits than the other exercises. The running is for somebody who loves running. You know, they love, I mean, I don't think that, you know, because running is, there are people who will go and get injured a lot while running if they don't do it right. And, uh, you know, I mean, you get motivated seeing somebody on Instagram or, you know, seeing some post on Twitter and then start and then you end up injuring yourself. So you need the, you know, say endurance and the strength and the right form to be a good runner. So this is, this comes natural. It's basically something which, uh, you know, cannot be trained. I will say, uh, obviously training is needed, but it's not something which can be uh, when I exponentially changed in somebody, you know, that you, you become a good runner. So, so I, I run basically just for, because I love running. I mean, I, when I started running, I tried running. I thought, you know, it was beautiful. I mean, so, and then I had a coach who guided me and you know she is among but india is one of the best uh, runners and so i had somebody to mentor me in my initial part of running so the problem with you know when people get into fitness they think you know you know that's a that's a huge problem in india you know so they will go to the cheapest gym they will not hire a trainer or they will you know look for buying uh, cheap shoes you know or but the problem is uh, you know if you look at the other way you're going to otherwise spend on medicines. So, you don't have to spend anywhere. So, you don't have to spend anywhere. You don't have to spend anywhere. Prepaid or postpaid. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and then this is, uh, you should be your own first priority. You know, I mean, yeah. it makes no sense for me to start saving money for my grandchild. I mean, yeah. you first take care of myself uh, and then I'll think, think about my kids, forget about grandchild. Our here, we so that if you are not fit, if somebody yeah. has to take care of you at later part of your life, then you are giving them more trouble, you know. I mean, Absolutely. You are studying, you don't know what you are doing, you are studying in the hospital, you are studying in the hospital, you are studying in the hospital. I have to suggest a machine that, you know, if you want, somebody wants to bring in at home and do, Rowing machine is one of the best uh, you can have for yourself. It's a great combination for your strength also and for your cardio also. You can do various workouts, uh, full body workouts, you know, using rowing machine. That's a great investment if somebody has to bring. If they want just one machine uh, to bring in. And I mean, the most useless I find is a treadmill, you know, that to, to bring in at home, at home. So if you really have to walk or run, you can always go outdoors. You know? So that sort of... Uh, um, so I'll always suggest to have a, you know, if somebody is having a normal life with not very specific goal, like you want to, if somebody wants to build body and want to go, you know, power lifter or bodybuilder, they will have a different workout plan. If somebody wants to be a marathon runner, they will have a different workout plan. But for most of us who want to have, if you want to remain fit, you know, I mean, healthy and fit and, you know, have a lifestyle, uh, uh, keep away from the lifestyle diseases. It's, I'll suggest, you know, you do five days or six days of workout. And uh, even if you give 45 minutes, 30 minutes is good enough. And three days at least dedicated to full body uh, work, you know, strength training. And a couple of days for cardio, even if you want to go for a walk or a jog or a cycle or whatever suits you best, you know, and, and mobility. But you, you need to take care of your joints. So I do, on my cardio days, I do full, you know, half an hour, I do mobility to take care of my joints. So I, I I'm not too much into stretching and all those uh, flexibility things because the best way to have flexibility is to do your strength training in full range of motion. So, I mean, mm. By stretching out something, it's very difficult to elongate your muscles. 
So, I mean, if you have to really elongate your muscles, you have to hold at a, some posture for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, which is near impossible. I mean, people don't have the patience to do it. So the easiest way to do is strength training will give you more flexibility. Like, I mean, there is a misconception that, you know, strength training can be tight. Ho jata hai, sab kuch. So it's not that. I mean, that gives you more flexibility yeah, than you know, doing anything else. And I try to experiment a lot on myself. I, mean, I have done things where people think that, you know, I am crazy. Uh, I, I, to control my snoring, I'll give an example. I was reading something on breathing and um, I was I read there that you know you to, you should nasal breathing is something which is the most efficient way of breathing, and I found out you know that uh, because I have a sinus problem, so doctors tell me that you need to be operated and all this, and I don't want to get into that right now because I have not seen anybody who has cured out of sinus because of surgery. You know, I've talked to a lot of people; they again have that problem coming up. So. I read somewhere that you know if you want to sleep with your only breathe with your nose, but most people you know are inefficient breathers and they start breathing with their mouth. You know, I started taping my mouth when I go to sleep. I would put a tape in my mouth and then sleep, and then you will not believe you know um, my snoring stopped, and uh, I came to zero snoring from by doing that. And my wife was surprised and I, I, I record the whole night, you know, the conversation, my sleep app records. So I have a sleep app, which uh, sleep cycle, which records whatever is the noise in your room, you know, and I'll wake up at times, you know, when it said that you sleep, you snored for one hour and it will record the snoring sound. And even my, if my dog, you know, is there in the, he snores, that also it records. And then, <laughs> and uh, then when I started doing that, my snoring came to zero. Wow. I not say that, you know, people should do it. I'm not, you ask your doctor, man, if you just listen to my podcast and you start taping your mouth and, you know, doing <laughs> it. You better ask your doctor and, you know, do anything before it. Uh, I mean, consult somebody expert before doing anything by listening to a podcast. Don't do it. But um, I mean, I say I go to the extreme of when I read something, I try to check it out and see, you know, that uh, does it really work? And uh, what am I going to lose? You know, even if, if I gain some weight, I can take care of it. Uh, if I lose some muscles, I'll take care of it. So uh, I know I'll, I can handle that. So I keep on experimenting. And I really found some of the theories have been extremely, extremely, extremely beneficial. So for recovery, you know, you just, you will not believe we have a, um, uh, what do you call that? Deep freezer, which you, you dip and the stores put the Coke and all those stuff and they keep, we have a deep freezer for taking shower, you know. So you fill it up with water, it's like zero degree temperature, go and dip into it, win off method. And, uh, you know, and you will find that, you know, all your soreness in the body, small pain. Immediately goes away. Yeah. All gone. I mean, so you get into zero degree. Ice bath. Yeah. Ice yeah. Bath, yeah. For, you know, 10 minutes. If, if you are able to take 10 minutes, you are um, very good. So all those things I keep on experimenting. And, and that's where I try, keep on trying on my food. And so I've come to some understanding and knowledge about those things, you know, how, but, what works for me, not necessarily is going to work for you. Everybody Absolutely. behaves differently. So, you, I mean, for that, you need to talk to, I'll give you a very good example. I was waking up at three o'clock every night. I mean, I'm saying this two, three months back story and I feel thirsty. And I was surprised that why is that I have been waking up for water every three o'clock because I hydrate well, I drink a lot of water and my, I don't have a sugar and all those things. So, uh, I don't know if you follow on Twitter, Chirag is there, Chirag Barjatia and, and I... No, I don't. Okay, he, he, so, I talked to a lot of trainers. So, he is one of the yeah. you know, coaches uh, I talked to. So, I talked to him and I said, Ki, yari, kya ho hai? You know, mm-hmm. Aisa kyo ho hai? Because whatever the, whatever the medical symptoms are that I should have with diabetes or sugar. So, iske ho sakta hai, ho sakta hai. Then we came to a conclusion that, you know, ki maybe electrolytes ele- ka problem hoga. So take some, you know, Enerzal or something once in a day. Uh, and you will not believe in three, four days I was sleeping good. So that's when uh, you start to yeah. talk by, by, you know, always talking to somebody who can be knowledgeable or who might have experienced something, it helps. So that's yeah. why I always have, I have three, four coaches, you know, and for, for running, I have a coach, for strength training, I have a coach. Unfortunately, during lockdown, I don't call them home or I don't, you know, I'm not doing out with them. But I'm yeah. in constant touch with them or, uh, you know, I'll send videos and say, ye deadlift sahi ho hai. Isko kaise improve karu? 
you know those, those sort of things i'll uh, keep on uh, talking and uh, understanding so without a mentor or a coach i'll never advise anybody to do you kitna bhi expert aap ho you maybe you at some point i like i don't honestly i don't need a day to day coach today but i need it to think about a plan agar ye achieve karna hai to aapka kya raah hai right it's not that i am going to follow it because with my own experience i try to you know combine things and combine things yeah yeah, yeah. so but it also tells you about your blind spots ki ye to maine socha hi nahi aise bhi ho sakta tha exactly yeah. aap jab if you are not open to the lot of ideas you know so yeah. तो आप कहीं ना कहीं कहीं ना कहीं कहीं गलती करोगे और यूर स्टक नो ग्रोथ है बेसिक स्टफ ऑफ एज यू सेड आउट सोर्सिंग द प्लानिंग टू समन एल्स इफ यू आर लीडिंग अ वेरी बिजी लाइफ टू समन कीपिंग यू मेकिंग श्योर दैट यूर ऑन ट्रैक to and someone finding your blind spots just too many benefits uh, and it's not just on fitness it's on everything which everything is, whether it is your business whether it is your job it all depends if you, if it's something is important to you get yourself a mentor get yourself a mentor everything yeah. can be important in life so you'll have two yeah. three things which are important to you so it's always yeah. advisable to give get a mentor for that and but the most crucial job for you is to get a good mentor yeah that is that is what your skill comes into play ki kis se main kya baat karu कौन इसमें मेरे को राय कर सकता है यू नो दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग दैट इज योर एक्सपर्टाइज सो लाइक लाइक आई हैव लर्न्ड इन माय इंडस्ट्री आल्सो इफ आई हैव टू रन माय फैक्ट्री सक्सेसफुली एंड आई नीड टू गेट द बेस्ट प्रोफेशनल थ्रू रनिंग आई हैव लिमिटेड नॉलेज आई कैन गिव इट अ स्टार्ट आई कैन टेक द रिस्क बट समबडी इज बेटर इन फाइनेंस देन मी समबडी इज बेटर इन मार्केटिंग देन मी समबडी इज बेटर इन इंजीनियरिंग देन मी सो आई नीड टू गेट दोस पीपल टू वर्क ऑन दोस स्पेसिफिक फील्ड्स इंस्टेड ऑफ मी डूइंग एवरीथिंग and the since the day i started doing that uh, my country company has grown growing and growing you know without me in what i hardly give 2 3 hours a day now to my you know official work uh, uh, and rest of the time it's a, so that's the always have a mentor without a trainer mentor coach whatever you call it you know you need it for uh, your most important things in life get a mentor get a mentor very clear i also want to talk about your uh, food since we touched upon that what's your philosophy there how do you plan your food uh, what's your approach to it talk us through that i i uh, honestly i i don't give much of a thought on that because by habit i don't eat much of you know unhealthy stuff and uh, one thing i just make sure that i have enough protein Uh, my because i am i work out a very intensive and uh, i my protein needs are much you know as a, because i am at an older age at a 55 uh, you know the protein takes too much extra time you can say to digest or whatever uh, way i put it so uh, you need more protein the older you get you need more protein and then uh, along with it i do lot of training also so uh, that's where i concentrate on uh, that i should have enough protein rest of the time you know uh, i make sure that i don't stop myself also like not having a pizza or not having a dessert or something uh, it's not that i you know i'm very stringent about food but overall it has become a habit that you know i don't eat trash much of uh, it and i i don't you, you'll not believe couple of months back it was the first time i ate maggi i never eaten maggi in my life so ek din ghar pe these guys made maggi and said ah papa aapko to aaj khilayenge khilayenge aapne kabhi khaya nahi hai so <clears throat> so that's where it's not much of a habit but i just enjoy my food and i prefer mostly home cooked food and uh, it's not that i don't eat out or i don't eat out of boxes or it's i mean i try before this lockdown thing i was traveling almost 15 days 10 days to 15 days in a month so during that time you always eat out and you know but so but but i take care of what i am eating at random i'll use some app to put in my days routine and check out ki where because With experience now I know I know कि कितना खा रहा हूँ ना कितना मैं carb खा रहा हूँ ना कितना fat खा रहा हूँ ना कितना अच्छा खा रहा हूँ कितना बुरा खा रहा हूँ so that knowledge has come with experience of ten years you know continuously doing it so I don't need to you know specifically write it and do it but then once a month I do do it at random just to time. just to make sure that you are on track sure that you know कि I am कहीं इधर उधर तो नहीं हो रहा क्योंकि खुद को पता नहीं चलता until you write something yeah, yeah. you you get lost so yeah, yeah. just write it down to make sure that you know i am on track you know it's not something uh, where a khud ko pata bhi chal jata hai you know if you if you if you eat something the inflammation ho jayega kuch ho jayega aapko pata chal jata hai ki aaj kuch to gadbad hua hai correct 
and my I am too much into data analysis. So I collect a lot of data, but not just my health, but a lot of other things also. So mm. uh, health, I I have a, get a fair idea. If I if I have I don't uh, drink much. I mean I have never tried whiskey or beer or all those stuff. But I enjoy my wine or something uh, once in maybe four months or six months. If I get a company, you know that too. But I have always noticed that, and that's what true for everybody. You know that the day you have alcohol. You can never sleep good. People have this understanding that you have no need. Pata hi nahi chala. Bande aise jaake soye. Is subah pata hi nahi chala. But your whole system, body is working over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your heart rate, you will find. You know, like my sleeping heart rate will be around forty-five, fifty, and that goes up seventy plus the night if I have a wine. So, mm. I mean, jo roj pite honge ye soch ke ki hamare ko to koi. They are killing themselves slowly and gradually. You know, they think yeah. that neend nahi aati iske bina. या व्हाट एवर इट इज दिस अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम यू नो दैट उनको तकलीफें शुरू हो जाएगी वो चाहे कितना ही फिट रहे कितना ही वो करें बिकॉज़ स्लीप इज नेसेसरी लाइक अ गुड गुड स्लीप इज नेसेसरी स्लीप इज द फाउंडेशन विदाउट दैट यू कांट गेट तो वो वो चीजें क्या है कि देन देन इट कम्स इनटू द फूड इन हैबिट भी आपको खुद को पता चल जाता है कि ये खाने से आपको दिक्कत होती है ये नहीं खाओ तो आपको ठीक रहता है सो इट स्टार्ट द बॉडी स्टार्ट्स टेलिंग सो देन द टाइम यू गेट दैट एक्सपीरियंस इट्स आई विल ऑलवेज एडवाइस पीपल टू राइट डाउन every little detail about what they are eating because khud ko nahi pata kitna hai and what do you check you check for when you write down you check for calories plus macros or something else also i usually check for macros calories mm-hmm. i i am always maintaining what i need you know i mean i am neither deficit or neither bulking up or main zyada khata nahi so but mm-hmm. i always try to maintain where i am so uh, for last 4 uh, years i am you know usually between 66 to 68 kg uh, mm-hmm. as far as weight is concerned i have uh, increased lot of muscle mass uh, and lost lot of fat so i muscle do something to come to 16 or 15 sort of thing i get my health checkup done every 6 months to check on where my uh, you know vitamins are and what what's the all other uh, you know things in my body the iron or all whatever you check so i i do a health checkup every 6 months uh, which is basically a blood check a lot of things checked from blood and the once a year i get tested for other certain things you know uh, which can be on my bone density or uh, uh, where you have to go to the hospital to go get it done so got it so uh, mostly and so that gives me a track of if i need to supplement anything in my life uh, in my food you know if something which is going uh, uh, it is out of uh, the range then i if i need to supplement thankfully i don't have to supplement much other than vitamin d which i uh, take like you know i'll take couple of months and then i'll go off it for couple of months and uh, so i i i make sure that it is in range uh, but if i if i don't take my supplements for vitamin d uh, i go down below the right range which is there so i keep on supplementing vitamin d tablets once a week uh, and rest of the things i do i have I haven't done any much supplementation. Uh, I take my protein way, which is because as a vegetarian, I don't get enough. Uh, I still can do a protein uh, requirement without the way as a vegetarian also, but it will need lot of uh, effort and lot of you know hard work. And living in a joint family, I need to you know make some food separate for me, you know, and that that will be too much of a pain to handle. so i just the easier part of handling it is taking whey so my I, i i take my whey one or two scoops depending upon what's my other food that i'm eating and uh, that these are the two things if you say i supplement i make sure to i go to bed at the same time um, usually you know 9:30 10 uh, i go to my bed and i wake up early in the morning you know to start with. so most of the days i am sleeping you know, in the same routine Next, so I wanted to also talk. I wanted to go back to the age question from which we started this. Uh, you are one of the very few people I know who started, you know, in their forties uh, on this path. And and you know, many people I meet, even my peer group in in their mid thirties, are like, you know, now it's too late, and and like we can do a little bit here and there, but what else? So. what i want to ask you is is it different like if someone is starting off later in life on to the fitness path what would your advice to them be both on the mental front as well as the physical front 
um yeah i mean you see most of the time people younger years they start is for aesthetic reasons so they want to look good you know they and it's not very driven uh, with uh, the purpose of health in mind it's you know to have uh, uh, well rounded shoulders and good you know low fat you know so so that sort of the, the idea when you are young is different when you get older the requirement or goals change and you will be surprised to know you know that uh, uh, the old i mean if you look at the history of boston marathon the number of participants who are participating there you will find that you know i mean the percentage of people 40 and above is higher than younger people so uh, the maybe the one of the major reasons is because if to if you to reach up to boston marathon which is one of the toughest marathons in the world you need to train almost like you know for a couple of years and and you need to dedicate at least you know couple of hours in an average if you say uh, weekly basis you might have to run 60 70 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers for sure and then to recover from that 100 kilometers you need to do certain other activities you know uh, even if you have to do a massage or foam roll or whatever so you need to dedicate a weekly basis maybe 20 hours or 25 hours so people start to give that much of time are able to afford that much of time 40 and above you know before that you are very working hard on your career you, you don't control everything you are not the boss you are working under certain people and you know you are on a junior level or a middle level uh, and you don't dictate time so and then you will be having small kids and their routine and all those stuff takes over so you will be fine, surprised that you know most of the people who are running the marathons will be uh, 40 plus you know and they are doing very good because they train for that so the goals are different Uh, as you age and uh, you if somebody can get on with it early in their life it's nothing like it you know i mean they they will uh, always be doing good but there is no i mean uh, harm in starting late or you know there is no uh, nothing like you know we started uh, like i started you can transform any day i mean any day is good day to start and it's going to help you as you reach your 70s and 80s you know and the average age is going up as as you see now we don't die because of the diseases we used to die of we don't die of cholera we don't die of uh, you know some, some bad water or you know, this this we have taken care of what we are dying of right now is something which is we have created sitting in a chair for whole day not eating right food you know there is no time for uh, gratitude no time for meditation no time time for sleep so these are the reasons that are killing us more and this can very well be taken care of as if you know if you devote work in a system like you know so for your own self and this can start in you my i started with my training with my father uh, on strength training at the age of 73 so 73 74 he had never done any strength wow. before that so it's same wow. with my mom you know so so I mean, they don't have to do a deadlift with uh, 100 kg or above <laughs> they can do it with yeah. 5 or 10 kg but they should yeah. be able to do it i mean they should be able to lift their own bag or they should be able to take out their own uh, bag from the car you know this and they and have they got have they gotten into the groove like now are they every day, every day evening they are doing it so so thankfully that we have a gym at home so you know uh, they don't have to travel out and do it so every day my mom and dad and even my grandma at 91 she she does her yoga every day morning one hour she is Uh, so brilliant. So, so there, there's never a you know start time for it. Earlier you you start, it's better for you, and yeah. it's never gonna be. I mean, you will be benefited any age, any time you start. The, oh, I mean, I'm going to not, share not this. But you will say that you know uh, exercise करके मेरे साथ बुरा हुआ. It's gonna help you. Absolutely, I'm going to share this with my uh, parents too. I think uh, this should motivate them also. Uh, but i want to ask about the other extreme age how do you try and incorporate this in your kids how are you consciously trying to get them started on the fitness bandwagon earlier yeah yeah i mean as i said you know the kids learn from your own behavior they don't take free the gap so they uh, they will my both boys do uh, their activities every day almost i mean uh, 
बीच में अगर कभी छूट गया तो 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 अभी अभी लाइक यू नो नो बोथ ऑफ देम आर वेरी एक्टिव आई मीन वी हैव बुक स्लॉट्स इन आवर होम जिम कि अभी मेरा टाइम है अभी मेरा टाइम है यू नो दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग सो इट्स अ बिजी प्लेस एंड दे दे आई मीन गेट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय व्हाट आई एम डूइंग दैट्स वेरी नेचुरल सो व्हाटएवर आई आई विल गिव यू वेरी गुड एग्जांपल आई हैड अ कार व्हेन माय यंग एल्डर सन वाज मे बी 7 इयर्स और 8 इयर्स और ओल्ड एंड आई आई I purchased a car six lakh rupees and then you know after three years I sold it for three lakh rupees. So dining table पे मैंने उस ऐसे बात हो रही थी मैंने बोला तीन लाख में बिकरी इसको बेच दे रहा हूँ. I was talking to my wife and he was listening and वो थोड़े दिन बाद मेरे को आगे बोलता है कि पापा मेरी साइकिल है ना सात सौ रुपए वाली साढ़े तीन सौ में बिक रही है. तो मैं बेच देता हूँ. तो I told him यार अभी खरीदी है तेरे always so if i am into fitness or if i am into eating right so they also get influenced and it becomes uh, you know part of their lifestyle also so i am happy that they are following it and they are doing it and it's gonna make good do good for them but currently they are doing it for aesthetic reasons or have they started understanding already that its health benefits and long term benefits are very nice no they also have this uh, you know uh, they again they are influenced with Lot of reading and all this also, you know. I mean, everybody is an yeah. avid reader at our home, so they also understand that its health span pe bahut acha effect. Got it. And uh, Got it. Uh, wo, you know, aesthetic to apne aap ho jata hai. If you are working Get out, it. so that's a byproduct. I mean, you yeah. obviously if you see my picture of ten years back with all those you know chubby chicks and all this, and uh, then you when you start to see the jaw you know coming out and when you look at the picture, it looks good. You know, I mean. So everybody that yeah. that that is a byproduct. That's gonna happen. That's to होना ही होना है वो तो. If you are working out regularly, वो होगा ही होगा. तो वो but health पे जो influence है उसका जो अच्छा है वो आज नहीं पता चलेगा. उसे कभी पता ही नहीं चले. क्योंकि आप बीमार ही नहीं हो रहे. तो I mean you know right. you are upstream, you are working and you are you are solving the problem before it's going to happen. So you may not even have the problem. So yeah. so you will not even yeah. realize. Which is why I. I've... I have actually found that so I used to be a really really fat uh, obese kid during my school and uh, college years, and I found that my friends from that time who were the fit guys are the ones who are fairly unfit today because they never uh, found a reason to do anything extra. They were like they had great metabolism etc. as a kid, and and they kept you know eating and drinking, uh, thinking that हमें कुछ नहीं होएगा क्योंकि कभी नहीं अभी तक नहीं हुआ thirty तक नहीं हुआ thirty two तक नहीं हुआ and then suddenly at 33 uh, life change so that's why i find it very interesting that uh, it's a double edged sword if when uh, when people are fit it at a young age it actually might turn out to be a curse in in, uh, in at a later point of time if they are fit without doing anything without uh, about it if they are just thin actually they are not fit yeah. and uh, and they believe ki mujhe to kuch nahi lagta main kuch bhi kha sakta hu aur mujhe kuch lagta nahi hai exactly so, starts to play on your mind Right. Yeah. Last question uh, before we end, Sandeep. What What would you tell the thirty-year-old, thirty-five-year-old, really hardworking entrepreneur, Sandeep Paul, with your experience that you have today? What would you tell to your younger self? I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not. I'm confused that if you would like to change something much, I, I have done a lot of wrong things. Uh, I have not worked out. I have never been able to spend time with my kids or when they were they are growing up, you know. Uh, uh, you will not believe I never had holidays with them. The one holiday I had, I mean, until the time they were in school, I had just one holiday with them. So I never time for their PTMs also. So I, I regret those uh, things in life. But at times I think that you know, the situation where I am in today in my life, where might not have happened if I had not given that much of time to my work. So uh, you know, uh, we I I am able to buy time. That's the best thing I can do with my money. So if I am talking to you right now, somebody is working for me in my factory and you know making uh, products and making me money. So I have reached a stage because of that because I maybe I initial years of my life I really slogged it out. So uh, maybe uh, so it's very you know you can't like predict or you say change things, and uh, thankfully. Um, my boy stay with me so my grandchild is with me so uh, i 
enjoying their company also and uh, but yes few some things that i miss was you know spending time with them when I, when they were young kids when i when i, I mean i am going to compensate that with my grandchild for sure that that last years very very clear and i thank you so much for the honesty uh, that you know you just don't know what path life would have taken agar wo sab nahi hota to shayad ye sab bhi nahi hota exactly you know to you know for the, i mean looking yeah. back and making a story is very easy yeah, but you don't easy. know that you know uh, that maybe it would not have worked absolutely absolutely thank you so much for making the time sandeep this has been a real uh, pleasure the biggest learning for me actually i thought it will be you know ki kisi bhi age pe chalu kar sakte ho but actually the biggest learning for me having spoken to so many other people and you today is that there's this common thread of uh, uh, you know just once you get on to the bandwagon a conquering your your mind and then b everyone i meet who continues to do it is always experimenting and trying to learn and trying to figure out more about their body they are they are now on this insatiable curiosity path of you know ye karne se kya hoga ye change karne se ye change hota hai kya they get so involved with their body and they start listening a lot more to to their body and it's so good to know that no matter what age what profession where you are the fitness story sounds very similar uh, whenever people start it so thank you so much for taking the time it's been a real thank pleasure you. for a pleasure here to be here sir nice talk thank you. you so much being honest with yourself is the first step towards a better body and a better life thanks sandeep for letting us know that it's never too late to take charge of ourselves if you like this episode don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these and tell us who you'd like us to host next in the comments below Ciao for now.